The only shame in this is this building at one time had money invested in it. It was owned, probably still is, by the taxpayers. And this is what we've done with their investment. We've abandoned it basically after it closes the school. Let it get to this state where now what? They sell it for a dollar? Like every other asset we have? Nobody wants to maintain it? We're sitting with 60 to, to 70 million dollars needed to put our buildings in shape that are still active. You know, when you look at them, look at Moncton High. We get seven, eight years from now, is that Moncton High? I hope not, because they hide behind every excuse possible not to fix these buildings. We don't have the money, we don't have the time. But we've got 62 million for inclusion. We've got another couple of hundred million to put into new schools at the expense of the old schools, which aren't being fixed. Where does it stop? We got a new minister now. The new minister is a lawyer. To look at what the new minister's doing or what she's capable of doing, let's put it that way, by taking control of some of the situations that are going on, you know, to me, and it's no secret, everybody knows about the court case by now, I've got to spend ten to fifteen thousand dollars to defend myself against nothing more than basic lies and they're allowing the deck to pay for their lawyer through the government system through the taxpayers money to take the, to take them to court so they can lose what are we doing why wasn't that money put into schools and stuff where it should be instead of the minister we had ignoring it not even not even returning calls. Let's hope the new minister has a better attitude.